Ukraine's opposition accuses U.S. of scrubbing info about Biolabs activities on Ukrainian territory. The U.S. Embassy in Kiev has been caught in the center of a brewing political scandal after denying allegations about U.S. Biological Laboratories' unlawful activity in Ukraine, while admitting that such labs do exist. The U.S. Embassy in Kiev has scrubbed information about the work of two of its Biolabs in Ukraine from its website. Viktor Metvkik, co-leader of the opposition platform for Life Party, has alleged, according to the lawmaker, in its April 22 statement responding to Rata Lawmaker's mid-April request for a government investigation into the 15 U.S. biolabs operating on Ukrainian territory, the U.S. Embassy provided a link to an explanation about the operation of its biological threat reduction program. There are two interesting facts associated with the document. Medvkik alleges, first, that the webpage was created on April 9, 2020, three days before lawmakers made their request for a government inquiry, and second, that there are discrepancies between the English and Ukrainian versions of the pages. The Ukrainian language document appeared earlier, but in 2017 featured another version of the document, now deleted, including the text consolidation of particularly hazardous pathogens in modern biosafety level facilities. One level 3 biosafety lab for human pathogens and one level 3 biosafety lab for animal pathogens. Medvkik explained in a statement Monday. In other words, in 2017, the U.S. Embassy not only openly curated at least two level 3 biolabs, but openly stated this. This is not proof that there have not been other, more dangerous laboratories, or that these laboratories have not conducted experiments with pathogens presenting the maximum level of danger. But it does indicate a desire by the U.S. Embassy to remove information that compromises them. Medvka claimed, Ukraine's opposition platform for life requested a government probe into the operation of U.S. biolabs in Ukraine on April 15, claiming that since these labs Labs deployment. Ukraine has faced mysterious outbreaks of otherwise inexplicable dangerous diseases, such as the 2009 outbreak of hemorrhagic pneumonia, the 2011, 2014, and 2015 cholera outbreaks, and an outbreak of hepatitis in 2017. In early 2016, at least 20 Ukrainian servicemen were reported to have died from a flu like virus, with 364 more people succumbing to swine flu months later. The Ukrainian people have the right to know about secret programs the opposition lawmakers appeal stressed. In its April 22 reply, the U.S. Embassy accused opposition platform MPs of spreading disinformation while admitting that a Department of Defense biological threat reduction program is working with the Ukrainian government to consolidate and secure pathogens and toxins of security concern in Ukrainian government facilities. In his comments Monday, Medvkik suggested that the alleged creation of a separate Level 3 lab for human pathogens may indicate experiment on human beings. This is the main reason for the creation of U.S. biolabs in Ukraine, serving as an opportunity to carry out the most dangerous kinds of studies, including studies on human beings, which are prohibited under U.S. laws but allowed in Ukraine due to problems in Ukrainian legislation, but to a greater extent to Ukraine's foreign control by the United States. He claimed shady U.S. labs across post-Soviet space. The Ukrainian lawmakers' allegations aren't the first of their kind. In 2018, George's former Minister of State Security asked President Trump to investigate reports that personnel from the U.S.'s Luger Center Biological Lab outside Tbilisi had engaged in experimentation on live human test subjects. In September 2018, the Russian Foreign Ministry said it had its suspicions about possible U.S. testing of biological weapons in states near Russia's borders and warned Washington to halt such activities immediately.